I think I can get across here through the air. Just call me a flying fish. Nah. If you weren't grilling those patties like an amateur has never cooked before, I wouldn't have to use my chum. Just follow my lead. If I was following your lead, me precious patties would taste like your disgusting chum. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? Are you working with Plankton? I had no choice. The poor citizens of Bikini Bottom were starving. I couldn't let him eat the garbage Plankton was serving. I'm right here. So we struck a deal to feed those poor, hungry mouths. So long as they pay, of course. Well, if you don't hurry with those patties, crabs, nobody will be fed. Then you'll have to say goodbye to- SpongeBob, you gotta help us. You're the only one I trust with me secret formula. Could you fix us some more crabby- I'm on it, Mr. Krabs. Hey, SpongeBob. Listen, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but the food from this place makes me wish I had eaten one of those exploding pies. Hey, SpongeBob! Sticky sweet! Come so on, I'm hungry. starving! What's the deal? Need food and attention! <laughs> you like playing dress up, so I've got a little reward for helping out your favorite employer. Hey, SpongeBob! Listen, I don't want to sound on... I couldn't help but overhear you miss your little pet snail, Walter. Gary. Right, Gary. Well, with this cosmic costume, you should be able to enter the portal he was sucked into. But watch out, honey. That snail of yours is in big, big trouble. Pretty flower costume. We must be going to some gentle land of sunshine and kindness. Don't get up, Care Bear. I'm coming for you. Creatures, Patrick, they're, they're... Funny? No, scary! Oh, yeah, yeah, that was gonna be my second guess. No, this whole 
place is frightening. It's cold, it's moist, and it smells like the dumpster behind the chum bucket. Well, that sure sounds a lot like this puddle of ooze you're standing in. Ew! It must be the remains of the victims of the monster that came through here. We have to hurry and find Gary. Remember, SpongeBob, just pretend that scary equals funny and play hide and seek with them. Great idea, and we'll win because they're not even seeking. This candy find a warm and safe place? Too bad I left my candy bar bag in my candy bar bag carrying bag. I guess I have to put it in my mouth instead. Wait a tide. Something about this ooze seems very familiar. Mm. Mm. Calcium with a faint trace of protein and lots of love. That's not ooze, that's slime! Gary's slime! That is a lot of slime for such a tiny snail. He must be so scared. We gotta find him! All we have to do is just follow this slime trail through the dark, scary, horrifying <laughs> city! Read. Oh, I didn't think that was that scary. A little dabble, do ya?
That town gives me the creeps. Ooh, I hope they give us creeps. I want mine with powdered sugar. Oh, you're thinking of crepes, Patrick. That awful slime left by that monster. What disgusting creature could do that? Have you seen? I'm afraid I have not. I'm in the middle of crucial organizing business for the Snail Cup. If you want to enter the race, you need to pay the participation fee of five candy bars. There's only one way to get the amount of candy we need. Take it from babies? No, we go trick-or-treating. Oh, that works too, I guess. Monsters all in our head. Snail, tiny, cute, sweet, with very expressive eyelashes. If he's really sweet, then the monster probably took him. It ruined everyone's Halloween by stealing our sweets. The last time it was seen, it crawled down the racing track. I think the track probably leads all the way to its lair. There it feasts on innocent candy and pets. Poor Gary. Patrick, we need to find more candy to get on that racing track. Here, have one of my candy bars for the participation fee. Your awesome costume deserves it. Thanks. Everyone at my school says I'm the smartest, most talented, most coolest kid Sad. because they do. Oh, I'm not sure, Mom. They're go it's gonna be okay. Don't. Your costume looks great. Thanks. about a monster. Trick or treat! I can't understand your accent. Trick or treat. Oh. Why didn't you say so? Here. Have a candy bar. A nice costume, by the way. Thank you. I 
get nervous around monsters. Sweetie, here, have a candy bar. Wow, vintage. Thanks. Pick a treat. I've been trying to find chocolate for three days. There's almost nothing left, except- I'm all ears. Well, actually, I'm mostly cellulose, but- Yeah, 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 look, a weird and very heavy rock crashed behind my house, right on my chocolate shed. Maybe you can move it. Here, let me open the gate for you. for being in trouble. Um, because we played with magic bubbles and tore into the fabric of reality, creating cosmic chaos that puts all of Bikini Bottom in danger? We said a good reason. planning to join the next one. No, it's too dangerous with this monster around. Yeah, me too. Me four.
That awful... You know There's a weird fish that passes next to me, but the way up is dangerous. Don't you know people have phobias? Sorry, I didn't know my costume was that scary. What are you afraid of? Boxes, man, boxes. You never know what'll be inside or where they'll take you. And then it's too late. And you look just like one, all square-like. Sometimes boxes have good things in them, like Krabby Patties. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Here's some candy. Thank you. Balloons? Don't you know people have phobias? That's all the candy we need. Now we can give it all away to Mrs. Puff. We'll do it. We, we have to. Again, did you bring the participation fee candy? With nuts! Fancy. Now keep still. This is going to hurt.
Wait, what? It's a snail race. You have to be a snail and fast. Go! <laughs> mush, one steel, mush. Survived. Uh, I mean, you won the race. <laughs> Congratulations. Now go bother the other kids. Patrick? I thought I was Patrick. No, I'm SpongeBob, you're Patrick. Sticky sweet. Oh. Maybe we should turn on some lights and make sure. SpongeBob is too dark here. Do something. These cables are glowing. Maybe they feel pretty. Thank <laughs> you. 
my pet snail Gary. He got lost. Probably kidnapped by a monster. Uh, have you seen him? Haven't seen your pet around, I'm afraid. But that monster? They say its lair is in the museum. It's dangerous, but it might be your best chance of finding your little critter. Sounds reasonable. We should ask this monster if it's seen Gary. Patrick, I don't think monsters can talk. You know what? My little monster theater has been reset. You mind giving me a hand with putting it back in order? If you do, I'll open the way to the museum for you, so you can go look for that monster and your friend. I don't like it, but if there's a chance Gary is with this monster, we have no other choice. Oh, poor Gary. Let's get this theater fixed. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
of slime, Patrick. Gary must be terrified, poor thing. Maybe it's not all Gary's slime. Maybe the monster caught a whole bunch of snails. 